I don't know. What's up? What's up? It's Tupac Smoker. Usually, I'm the host of Stupid Stoner Interviews. But today, for 420, we're doing a special reverse the seat situation, and I'm being interviewed today. So, this should be an interesting uh, interview for y'all. Let's uh, get my sir, dude, Don Relic, up in here to do this interview. We're going to get him up in here right quick. Right quick. I'm gonna get some swamp water fumes going. First I gotta clean the apparatus. Is that the right word? Apparatus. Apparatus. Apparande. Apparinde. Sanandana. The thirsty. You thirsty? I can't know. You know what? Fuck it. I'm smoking all anyway, right? Mm. 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 Orgasm in a bag. It's an orgasm in a bag, sir. Hello, Nicholas. Nikolai, E. Coli, Nikolai. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, you're doing that thing with the thing, the thing, and 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 the thing. Shubita, 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 shubita. Shubita, you know. Happy 420 and whatnot. We doing a special 420 interview with me, with me, because I'm getting interviewed today. Instead of me interviewing other people, I'm getting to I'm getting interviewed today for my own content use and whatnot. <laughs> this stuff is going to my world up. What's going on? Do 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 do. Subcomment. <laughs> Smokes a plenty as for twenty. Get up and get lifted. Get lit and get high. You know what I'm saying? Hi. <laughs> Goodbye. Shimmy, shimmy, I need to sit right because I almost fell. 
I am all spam. Oh, oh, help me, I won't spell over. Oh, my stomach. Dude, bro. Ugh. Oh, hold up. Oh, there's an interview for you. Oh, that was a good one. And we packing up. Yeah, we packing up. Who is on today? I'm on today. I'm interviewing me. No, actually, Don's coming on to interview me, but yeah. Figured I could uh, reverse the roles. Or reverse the roles. Oh, what the fuck is going on with my thing? Okay, I don't want to fall. I feel like I'm falling. I feel like I'm falling and I can't get up. Help me, I'm falling and I can't get up. Oh, okay. The, the, the Facebook, the Facebook, man. seal this with something better like caulking oh my stomach fuck my stomach dude oh there you are hey yeah shit's making like a bitch what's going on my brother i apologize i apologize I actually went to TikTok first. It's, <laughs> it's all good. We, we said we were coming on here so this, we can make it cloudy. See, what had happened was, right, I was doing that. So, <laughs> like, I had a bunch of people in there wondering what I was doing. I was just sitting there, and I'm looking. I'm looking for you online on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just don't get banned. <laughs> oh, it's the last thing you want. I gotta get some caulking from my bong because it's leaking. So, well, first and foremost, my brother. First and foremost, as I am partaking, I need to I will switch like bongs real quick. This this thing's leaking like a bitch. Too bad. Hold on. I gotta put this away. I gotta retire this for a second. <coughs> Bring me to the mini collection of bongs that I got. And take a little peek at that for the interview, I guess. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Let me walk around here. I'll come over here and I'll grab. I'll only grab one of these because the other one is too dirty. All right. So, but I'm not, uh, not going to be smoking out of it. I'll just I'll just show it to you. Look at all those. 
those are amazing. I like that one. I like that mask. That is an awesome that, mask. That's a gas mask. I like that one. This one has seen more gatherings than most people have. <laughs> like, this thing has been slapped with stickers since the first gathering I went to. The thing's ridiculous. Um, Alright, we're looking for something to put herb through. All right. Well, how about this? While we're doing this and while we're seeing all these wonderful weed memorabilia, hold up. I'm going to actually flip it around because at this point it's just a mess. <laughs> um, um, all right. So go. Yeah. We start off with a welcome, everybody, to the reverse mirrored image of Two Puff Interview. Where the interviewer is interviewed, Don Relic style. Right. Hell yeah. All right. So let's start off with why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Me? Yes. Oh. Uh, name's Justin Playstead. Go by Two Puff Smoker. Uh, I've been. Writing and rapping since I was like 13. Just about around the same time I've been smoking weed. So, uh, I guess I guess that's that's all that's all I could I could say about that for now. So music, so, and, so music and weed is, is is like they go hand in hand. Music and weed for you is like peanut butter and jelly. Right, exactly, and and. For, <sighs> For the longest time, I was like, man, I'm going to quit, man, I'm going to quit. And then I'm like, ah, I'm going to become a weekend starter, and then here it is, 420, I'm about to smoke an entire eighth of 31% fucking THC fucking weed, and I just finished off the last of my dabs this morning. I was, I was, I was sweating this morning, I'm not going to lie, I was dying. Because it's 420 and that's what we're supposed to do. You are supposed to smoke until you choke. And then when you choke, you're supposed to smoke some more. Exactly. All right. So, oh, hold on. Let me pull out the bottom here. Because it feels like it's all paper <laughs> shit. All right. As it, anyway, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Where are you from exactly? I am from New Hampshire. I was born and raised in New Hampshire. I've been here basically all my life. Uh, I've traveled as far west as California and as far south as South Carolina. See, all of those, all of those sound very, very common. Yeah. So for the viewers, what the hell is in New Hampshire, bro? Uh, it depends on the crowd you're looking for okay. <laughs> okay 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 for say a hip-hop crowd like i'm just saying like and i'm not even throwing shots i'm just saying i've never heard <laughs> so, stephanie ann said nothing is up there no no touche touche all right there's a lot a <laughs> lot a lot a lot a lot of juggalo rappers um there are some other underground artists that try not to go like toward the juggalo image because they just wanna they don't want to be put in a box and then you got me who started out as a juggalo rapper now i'm just kind of not trying to say juggalo in my songs as much it's not that i don't have love for juggalos it's that i'm not trying to put myself in a box anymore and like you know what I mean? I'm trying to have an open uh, repertoire <laughs> for like vocals and styles and images. I don't want to just be like that juggalo stoner guy. You know what I mean? I could dig it. I could dig it. Just another, just, it. just another, just another D Lok or Daddy X or something like that. Okay, 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 okay. Good, uh, good, uh, what do you call them? Good, uh, semblances. Right. 
I, if any, if anything, I'd rather be more like Cypress Hill or Bone Thugs, where uh, they're still together, they're still doing music, and they're still performing together, and like there's no hate on each other. There's no no dead or dying members that I know of, anyway. I can dig it. Yeah, it ain't no no major members. No major members from them have passed. Right. From the Mo Thugs family, sure. Right. Bone yeah. Thugs. Yeah. Right. No. Cypress Hill, I'm pretty sure they're all still alive and kicking, right? Um, sure. Sure. <laughs> I I don't really pay attention. Like the last song I remember from them is what is it? Jump around. And what's no, no, no. That that's House of Pain. Oh, okay. Well, who's the other one? The Cypress Hill. What's that one by the, the insane the, 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 membrane? Membrane. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> all right like that's the biggest joint by them all right so so when is your birthday my birthday october 7th 1991 october um, 7th i was released from prison the first time october 7th <laughs> <laughs> that's shitty that is not considered shitty. That's called great. No, I'm no, no longer no, in no. jail. I'm saying it's shitty that you were there to begin with. No, oh, I deserve oh. to be there, man. I was an asshole. Man, we all do stupid shit. I did, I, I did the crime, so I had to do the time. I ain't scared to say I was supposed to go to jail. Yep, I, should, I was supposed to go to jail. I shouldn't have been fucking up. But it ain't about me. It's about you. So. What's your favorite food, song, and place? And I want descriptions. When you talk about the food out there in New Hampshire that you be eating at them delicious old restaurants that's out there with all the whatever the hell they eat out there. Actually, I would tell you straight up, it ain't even uh, from a restaurant. Usually it's something that I make, like steak or uh, uh, hamburgers or just anything beef, anything beef. Red meat. I love beef. Hey, you look like you can make the hell out of a good ass burger. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I make a good burger. I'm, um, let's see. Like, I bet you would make a dope ass sandwich too. Like you know, some days you just want a soup and a sandwich. Like you just look like the type I just of person did who that. I just I ass. look like a shaggy type of guy that from Scooby Doo who just puts that right, stone right. sandwich together. Yeah, that's pretty much how it is. I put that sandwich together. I'm just like, I'll. Oh. Okay, so what is your favorite food then, sir? Uh, pro probably, probably cheeseburger or or a steak. Uh, I enjoy both, just just as equal. Um. So, I like I like to try different steaks and cheeseburgers from different places too. Oh man, you had to try this spot. Back in Racine, Wisconsin, if you ever get up to Wisconsin, go to Racine. There's a place up there called Chubby's. You go right. in your kitchen right now and get your uh, dinner plate, and that is the size of your burger. Oh, yeah. Fuck. It is it's huge. And, like, it ain't no fake nothing. Like, they make, they bake all their own bread to make the, you know, to make the buns and all that, but they fire. Right. <laughs> Okay, so steak, steak and burger, and burger. Um, what about your favorite song? That's hard. Um, I gotta say, like all time favorite song. Oh. Don Relic, like, lawless, shameless plug, shameless plug. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> uh. If we're going like first song, like my first favorite song that got me into music, I'd say Ozzy Crazy Train. That's easy. But if I go for like all time favorite, it's hard because <laughs> I have a lot. Uh, I have to say my three top that have been my three top for a long time now is uh, uh, oh, what the fuck is it? Uh, I'm coming home by ICP. Okay. Uh, where's the 
Tweet at by Cottonmouth Kings. Okay. And Slacker by Tech Nine. Slacker is the only one I know. <laughs> yeah, no, Slacker used to be my shit to the point where I wore that song the fuck out, and you can ask any one of my friends. <laughs> okay. Oh. So if you have you some fire ass cheeseburgers and a good ass steak, right? Yeah. And you got those three songs, you know, on repeat. You out there chilling, you doing your thing. Oh, I'm There's good. One place in the world that you would want to bleep wanna be. In all honesty, anywhere near the ocean. I'll take I'll take a deserted island filled with pot and I'll I'll be happy with that. Can I come? Sure. A deserted island filled with pot and cows. Every time, every time I come out there, I promise you, you're gonna be missing like you know, you're gonna miss like a half an acre. Just don't worry about it though. You'll grow up back. <laughs> hey, I mean, <laughs> as long as you don't get caught by customs, you're good. I mean, you you got a whole island worth of this shit, so it don't matter. <laughs> like I said, as long as you don't get caught, we're good. All right. We'll just won't. We just won't. That's, inter that's international smug. We won't go back to the. We will not go back to this interview for uh, evidence ever. Okay. You hear, me, you hear us, Mark Zuckerberg? We're just kidding. We are not going to beat El Chapo of the game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, about time to. Okay, so we got songs. We got where you're from. We got your name. We got your birthday. We got the place you'd like to be. Yeah. So is there is there anyone special in your life that you'd like to embark on all these wonderful journeys with? Uh, my fiance and her three kids. Uh, uh, of course, uh, I'll give a shout out to my mom, my dad, and my sisters. Shit, just all, all the homies that I've known over the years, uh, all my family, my grandmother right now, who's uh, on her deathbed, unfortunately, uh, she she's helped me a lot through life. She's even helping me now while she's fucking kicking the bucket, unfortunately, but. I'm sorry you're going through that. I know that that's hard pain, brother. Oh, yeah, it definitely is, but, I mean... All the pr prayers and angels and, you know, all that good stuff, everything good that can go to grandma. Well, you know, the way I look at it, at it is uh, she's lived her life, and she, I think she'll be happy. I be, think she'll be happier once... once the suffering of the pain and everything is over honestly like it, it i'm not i'm not trying to look at it in a negative way i'd rather her be comfortable and happy than uh upset and miserable you know what i mean right 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 that's always, you know, that's always a good way to look at it, man. You don't ever want them to be suffering. You'd rather have them, you know, smiling and joyful. Right, exactly. I'd rather be there for her when, when I can be and see that she's happy that I'm there, there rather than her being like, oh, where is everybody? Like, what, what happened? Like, screw that. I can dig that. We're gonna get up out of this we're gonna get up out of all this stuff, right? Yeah. Wait, like, uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to get lifted, honestly. Well, see, I'm, I'm waiting on you to get you know get busy. I know you're over there trying to clean clean your stuff out, you know, get everything situated. I know that that's a painstaking process. That's something you should have did a couple days ago. You knew what we had going on. That's honestly, all right. Honestly, I my other bone wasn't leaking the other day. Hi, right, so then in the process, do you have any tattoos? Um, I do. What I have a lot. Favorite, your biggest, the most painful, and the most meaningful. 
most meaningful so far um <laughs> um shit i don't know if i have any meaningful ones yet uh, uh i guess bart simpson he's always been my favorite character since i was a kid he's most meaningful so there we go bart simpson my most painful uh, on my chest here my buddy tried doing a goblin head and then tried spelling out the word goblin mm -hmm. he ended up doling two two um needles on my chest plate like he went too deep and was hitting bone and the bone the bone yeah the bone dulled the needle <laughs> like that's how hard he was going uh yeah, that wasn't that wasn't too fun. Um, let's see. What, what's your biggest? my biggest one is probably Mr. Mackey. Mr. Mackey, I did myself. He was my first tattoo I did myself. And then I did Bart Simpson myself as well. Actually, I did everything you see here. Uh, pickle Rick. Bojack Horror. Horseman, Freaky Fred, Pickle Rick, Mr. Mackey, Bart Simpson, and Word Juggalo and a Demon Skull. And that's just that's just the ones that I've done. <laughs> um, then I got Beetlejuice, and the same from Beetlejuice. And I got Freddy and Freddy versus Jason here, and a Hatchet Man here, some bad. Bats for my sister. Me and my stepbrother got matching bats on our chest for my crazy stepsister who died on my birthday, unfortunately, of a fentanyl overdose. Ooh. Sorry about that. Yeah, no, it's all good. Things happen, unfortunately. Uh, that was one of the things that happened in life. Uh, let's see. That's that's basically all my tattoos. I got like maybe thirteen, something like that. So with having all, all those tattoos, I'm sure that you know there was probably some cool times behind that. Oh yeah, uh, uh, a lot of drugs and alcohol too. <laughs> what's up with uh your craziest story? Fuck. Um. Uh huh. That's a good one. Good luck, because I ain't heard nobody top mine yet. Um, shit. I don't really know, because I don't really want to say anything <laughs> that might get me in trouble. But uh, I'll, tr I'll try to keep it uh, uh, not too, too crazy. In cold, my brother. I will <laughs> understand you. <laughs> um... <coughs> I don't know, even that wouldn't have been that crazy though. So, um, I gotta I got say to this day, the time I was almost raped by this chick who was on Special K at the gathering of the Juggalos. But I got, I got one question that I'm sure that all the viewers will want to know too. Uh, How the hell can a female rape you? Because. I knew that she had a, a boyfriend, and I was trying to be okay. respectful of her boyfriend, and I was trying to walk away, and then she grabbed me and tried pulling me into the porta potty and then she started punching me in the face, and I'm like, somebody's got to get this crazy bitch off me. I don't know who this bitch is, but somebody get this bitch off me. That, and then, that, like, a group or... of chicks, a group of chicks was looking at me, just staring at me. I'm like, can you get this crazy bitch off me? Like, the fuck? It, that that's like foreplay. <laughs> I mean, you was at the gathering, dog. Look, look. When when I'm trying when I'm trying to be respectful of people and not trying to step on toes, and I'm tr just trying to enjoy my trip. <laughs> and I ain't trying to have no crazy sex in a porter potty. I mean, 
Just wanted to have you in the most romantic place possible, where thousands. I, 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 I couldn't. I couldn't. I, I, I might be crazy. I might be crazy. I might be gathering crazy, but I'm not <laughs> having sex in a porta potty with a crazy bitch on, in a K hole at the gathering crazy because you know what i've seen gathering porta potties at least five years in a row and they don't change and i will tell you one of the most disturbing things to see is either an unborn fetus or a, a mountain of shit that goes so high it goes up above the rim of the fucking toilet and a woman who is willing to take you into something like that the the, the coochie gotta be good. <laughs> it's gotta be good. Had, she, so I, she ran away. She ran away after punching the piss out of me and jumped into a big pile of trash. So I mean, that, that yeah, yeah, that's see, that's that psycho coochie. Yeah, <laughs> you're probably lucky because yeah, that probably would have been the one that you yeah, it would have been babies and shit, and it'd have been crazy, and then you'd have been like, nah, and then it ain't no way you can get rid of her. Yeah, look, look, been, look, look, I'd probably not be alive today if any of that happened, any of it, any of it at all. <laughs> I'll tell you straight up, I'd not be alive today. I can handle okay. crazy. I cannot handle that crazy. <laughs> I can dig it with a shovel. <laughs> uh, all right so with all that going on what got you into me into making music and you already told us what age you started so like yeah but what, what really what really what i mean i know you said you know so basically like uh what really uh, drove you to like back back this? when i was a kid i was one of those kids who like more like watching TV and shit. So I'd yell at my mom to turn off the radio when she was cleaning and shit. But one day she she pulled out a vinyl and put Ozzy Osbourne on and played Crazy Train. And then that was it. Like I just, I fell in love with music and then it was rock and roll and rap 24 <laughs> seven pretty much. Um, the first rap albums that I got into was uh, Coolio's Fantastic Voyage and Snoop Dogg, Doggy Style. Uh, um, but, like later in life. Uh, did, you, you, did anybody ever tell you you look like a white Snoop Dogg? Actually, I had I had a Mark Cart lady come up to me in Walmart and when I used to work at Walmart and she's like, did you know you look like a white Snoop Dogg? And I'm like, I'm like, I, you know, I, this is, it's not the first time I heard, I've heard it at least three times, at least three times in my life. I'll say that between you, the Mark Cart lady, and I think my buddy Dan said it once. You could actually do like a white version, like a if Snoop Dogg was white, you could do that. See, I'm giving you free market here, Tupac. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> you definitely do it. Instead of about pimping hoes, I'm <laughs> I'm selling lemonade on a lemonade stand. Hey, listen, man, roll no, with no, it. Sugar is all that pure. We are in the age of the internet where people love that type of stuff, bro. If you did that, that bro, there's your followers right there. That that would be different. That would be different. What? Who who has done Snoop Dogg? <laughs> and then a white rendition of Snoop Dogg at that. <laughs> like you should hop on Gin and Juice and do a and do a white remix of Gin and Juice. <laughs> <laughs> what apple juice and rum? <laughs> whatever the hell, whatever the hell. Uh, you should make like you should go with the whole gimmick. That would be hilarious. With like you look like the, you look like Snoop. That would be dope. you look like Snoop without the melanin. <laughs> without the melanin. <laughs> this the melanin melanin free version. <laughs> this the gluten free Snoop Dogg, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they stripped it of me, you know. All those years all those years of fucking selling out fucking Martha Stewart and shit. <laughs> 
See, it was really you. It was you up there. I knew that wasn't Snoop. That's where you learn how to make them burgers and shit at. Now we learn the truth. All right, all right. See, Fitz, uh, I'm really Snoop Dogg. This is this is this is all makeup. Um, I just wanted to see what it'd be like to be an underground artist. Hey, no, don't claim that. Not right now. Not right now. Too early. Too early. Too early. I'm playing. I'm playing. We are, we are a world. No, y'all. He do not be in blackface. This is the homie. He does not do that. <laughs> wait, 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 who wait wouldn't wouldn't it be wouldn't it be backwards because like like white chick scenario? So it'll be white face. No, because you're white. I so if you were I know, the, I know, I know, I know, I know, I'm saying then it would be you in blackface. How would that be? Oh, 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 I, I see what you just... Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying th this is makeup. This is makeup. I'm making myself look younger than what I really am. And I'm trying to make myself look white. Uh, like white chicks. The AI version. Okay. I can <laughs> this is the AI version with a little bit of cyberpunk thrown in there. Okay. I can dig it with a shovel. I can dig it with a shovel. <laughs> Go. Yes. Go. <laughs> All right. So, what was the question? I the I, well, you pretty much have answered uh, the <laughs> next question was gonna be who's influenced your music, but you pretty much let me know through that like a lot of the questions you've brought up Ozzy Osbourne. So I'm just gonna go with Ozzy. I, I've, say, got, I've got a lot of influences, honestly. Even to this day, like there's people my age that influenced my music and then they're like how the fuck can you look up to me as an influence when you're my age i'm like bro because you're gone some you're gone somewhere with your music like i've been standing still with my music because i've been doing drugs and fucking getting fucked up and being like yo help me out i don't know what the fuck i'm doing i'm all fucked up and like <laughs> now now figuring out for myself like it's it's easy here once you start figuring it out honestly okay so in the spirit of figuring things out what's your writing process like um, mm, mm. before you sit and write do you like to eat his little with his fava beans and a nice chianti oh uh, no uh, no i usually i usually smoke <laughs> usually uh, I'll, I'll play the beat, I'll play it back, uh, I'll write, I'll write a line, play it back, write a line, play it back. It could, it could take me anywhere from a few minutes to write a whole song to fucking years, honestly. No, um, it never takes years. Let's not go with years. We don't like that answer here on Two Puff Smoker. No, 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 no. Seriously, seriously, I, I hate to say it, but there's been jams that I've tried to, like, work on, and then, like, I just released it too early, and then I come back to it, and then I re-release it, then I come back to it, re-release it. Like, like the track that I released today, Always Getting High. So I've re-released So I've, you're, you're one oh, of them type of, art, type of artists. You're, you're a perfectionist. Uh, if I if I hear a mistake, I'm gonna go back, correct it, and try to make it better every time. And if if somebody else points something out, like else out to me, I'll go back and fix it, and I'll take down the the one that I posted, and I'll fix it again, and I'll I'll keep fixing it until I feel like it's like it's finally complete. Like I don't know, that's just how I am. If it's if I feel like it's a good enough track to keep putting the energy into it, I'm going to keep putting the energy into it. If it's something that, that like, it, it's not, not going to be revisited ever again, then I'm just going to, I'm just going to put it in the past. You know what I mean? There's, there's a lot of tracks that right now that I really, really want to get re rewritten, redone, re-recorded. Honestly, a lot of the beats I'd like to remake. That way, I can say, "Hey, like, I ain't jacking a beat again." 
because uh, a lot of the beats I am straight up, I'll say I'm jacking the beats, uh, or I'll I've got like limited uh, usage rights or whatever, and it's it's like uh, at this point I I have a few beats I, I own outright, and then like a f I have beats that I've made myself, but I'm looking to kind of revisit a project that I never finished and I want to finish that project first before moving on to anything more serious as far as like my own beats and stuff like that okay 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 so what makes your music different or what makes you stand out out amongst your peers ain't competition because i don't like that word we shouldn't be in, in in competition with one another we should all be peers amongst each other all right all right um different uh i'd say i say i'm not afraid to go outside my comfort zone and try something new uh, if somebody was like, oh, try something reggae or try something like Frank Sinatra or try something this style, try something that style, I wouldn't be afraid to do it. And oh, like, hop on a poker song? I'll, I'll do a poker song, shit. I'll do, I'll do poker face. Like, no, not, <laughs> not poker, poker. No, Remember Steve Urkel? No, I know. P O L K A. I know. Like, Oh, poker. Uh, yeah, I know what you mean. That wasn't even a poker song. You know what I'm saying? That you was, know. <laughs> poker song at all. That was not. That was, you know what, know what I'm what saying? <laughs> like, I'm just fucking wrong. But, uh, I don't listen to poker personally, so I don't know what the fuck a poker song would sound like. But if I were to get on a poker song, I would study it, study the music, and uh, I'd write something that style. Okay, okay, okay. You know, I've always thought about dropping a polka song. I'm going to find somebody who can get me a polka sample, and I am going to do a polka song. Watch. Okay. I'm going to do a polka song. I bet you that I blow up out there in, like, wherever they do the polka at, out there in Sweden or the place where they wear them damn wooden shoes and stuff. Out in, like, Germany or just, just Finland or... Yep. Something like that. The Alps. Real gangsta on a polka beat. Oh man, that'd be different. That would be different. Exactly. Don't steal my idea, okay? <laughs> I'm not, trust me, I'm not gonna do your polka thing. It's all good. I have my I've had my own ideas like a uh 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 stoner pirate shandy or something like that. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. That sounds good weed strain. Huh? That sounds like a good weed strain. But what you just said. Stone 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 Pirate Weed song? Or, or Stone, Stone, Stone Pirate, Pirate Weed Pirate, Shandy? Yeah. Something like that. I don't remember what I said now. Stone, we'll have to play Stone, back. Stone Pirate Weed Shandy. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. All that, right. There we go. That sounds like a good Weed strain, like actually, I, I would. You want to know what I'm smoking on right now? Finally, light up. This stuff is called Swamp Water Fumes, and the total THC is 31 percent, but the total cannabis cannabinoids is 37.1 percent. I smoking. Uh, this is green crack, but also. I have, I forget the name of the dab that I got, or the, the, the live rosin that I got, but I have some live rosin mixed in there. Hell yeah. Oh. And it is great. All right, so what's the next question? So the next one is, do you do everything 100% solo? Um, for now, yeah. Um, I do the, I mean, you're 
technically helping right now with the interviews by interviewing me, but usually I schedule all the interviews and stuff. Uh, I mean, I'll get a hand here and there from or a recommendation like, hey, you should schedule this guy or you should schedule that guy. But for the most part, I do all the interviews and like music 100% solo. Like I said, I haven't um, used any of my own beats yet because I've been using recycled jack beats and whatever um but for the most part other than that yeah i, I yeah i do everything 100 percent solo okay um i will say that uh i bought four four beats off of mc horror uh the dope fast beats i just haven't used them yet because, again, I just want to revisit this project and finish it because I never I never finished it. And I can't leave something unfinished and be like, oh, yeah, I'm satisfied with that. Like, no, I'm not satisfied with leaving something unfinished. Okay. So with, with, um, with knowing all of that, what programs or what DAWs or anything do you use? Like what what does Two Puff Studio look like? All right, so um I got a mixing board, I got a couple of mics. I actually got like three or four mics. I've got a performance speaker that I can plug into my car and just hop out of my car and just perform on the road um I, i'm running a macbook pro i use band labs on there and an alienware i'm running mixcraft of uh, audacity fucking uh, god reaper and, and so many other free programs mixcraft's the only one that i bought because it's uh, the closest thing that I could find to GarageBand that wasn't a free crappy uh, uh, program. Like, like Band Labs isn't bad, but it's not the same quality as Mixcraft or GarageBand. And I, I personally prefer Mixcraft over even GarageBand at this point because I've learned how to, like, recreate certain beats like certain beats i'm not going to know unless i i sit there and listen and i'm like oh that's an f that's a g that's a duh this is the and i really i really hate doing that i hate picking music apart yeah because i i don't like doing that either i don't really want to i don't really want to i don't care about music theory i just give a damn that the beat sounds dope right right exactly exactly and like if i was go if i was going to recreate something at this point it would be something similar but not exact like if i'm going to take a song and recreate the beat it's it's definitely going to be my own beat it's not going to be exactly instrument for instrument sound for sound how it was I could dig it with a shovel. All right. So where can we find all your music? Oh, uh, right now, I took all of it all up until today. I took all of it down because I got in talk with um, Quest Facts Management, which is uh, Crunchy Black from the Three Six Mafia's uh, old manager. He. He, however, had to let Crunchy Black go because uh, he was just uh, hard shit. A hard artist to I might have to go out there and help. You know what? Get, just give me a second here. Um, anyways, I, I finished what I was saying. Um, basically, yeah, he became unmanageable, so dropped Crunchy Black, but we got in talk, 
talks and he's like, oh yeah, I want to manage you to da, da, get all this in order, take this down, redo this, redo that, do that, do this, da da da. And it just got to the point where I'm like, well, if I'm going to do all this, I'm going to take all the time to do all this. Like, I don't think I need somebody to tell me to do all this because I was going to do all this anyways. Like, <laughs> so, I mean, I, 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 I appreciate his advice. I appreciate what he's done for me. But I feel like I don't really need professional advice at this point going through school for media arts and technology and uh, digital marketing and things like that so it's just kind of like I, i'm trying i'm trying to take advantage of the knowledge that i have as is and not settle not settle to pay somebody like 70 percent just for being like hey do this like even right. though i know like hey i need to do this I'm things like yeah we already know these things yeah i agree i agree i have the same sentiment all right so do you have any merch lines if so where can we order them and and do you make it yourself mm, no i don't make them myself yes i do uh i have a link tree link in the bio but you have to like write it down type it in because unfortunately tiktok thinks two puff smoker is a harmful uh word for a link but it's not a harmful name for it's fucking stupid but basically, TikTok won't allow me to post my actual link tree link. It's in my link tree link. You can go to my Instagram. You can go to my uh, fucking basically anywhere. Click the link tree link in there. It'll have a list of t shirts, sweatshirts. Uh, what are those things? Tank tops. I have a pair of Nikes that I did I custom made uh, with my, my name in them and like you can put your own name in them and whatever. It's not that I'm sponsored by Nike. It's that I'm just promoting Nikes like customization for like shoes and shit. So maybe one day Nike will be like, hey, he mentioned us. Let's promote him. Like. Shout out to them. And if they don't like it, well, fuck them. Sue me. <laughs> yeah, no, don't sue, sue me for what I'm not worth. Don't sue you. They make a lot of money just from Jordans alone. Y'all want that problem. <laughs> Basically, they're just going to own me as an entity at that point and put me to work and probably sew shoes together for them. I can dig it with a shovel. <laughs> so I'm just like, hey, whatever. Go ahead, sue me. That's what you're gonna get out of me. So, what are your current projects and release dates? Uh, current projects. Uh, again, today I release "Always Getting High." Today on four twenty, I'm releasing "Mental." illness on may 1st and, and then oh man i'm rewriting a whole bunch of other songs that i've done uh wake up uh scumbag the bad bad guy and, and i think get high get high i think i'm gonna redo too and then from there it's just going to be new tracks. I'm going to do four new tracks after that. I don't know the release dates for any of these yet. I have to figure that out as I work on them all. Um, I got a schedule time. Uh, and it's, it's a little hard sometimes, but, you know, 
Like, I was a little, I'm not going to lie, with these past two interviews, I was a little late to post them to TikTok. I still haven't even posted them to the stupid stoner interviews TikTok yet. I don't think, I don't know. I got to check. It's been a long day. Hey, I could do it. Today was kind of a lax day for pretty much everybody. Oh, not me. I was out and about and doing things, stoned out of my mind, so. <laughs> I mean, I was here. And yeah, I'm probably gonna get cussed out later on because yeah, but I'll be all right. <laughs> I get that. I get that. Um, let's see. Um, who are some, talking about? Who are some people that you would like to work with? Who are some people I would like to work with? Well, shit. Who wouldn't I like to work with at this point? Um. I say as long as you are actually going to take the time to, like, be serious about it, I think I'll work with that just about anyone, anyone, as long as they take it seriously. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not there to hold your hand and write a verse for you. I'm not there to tell you how to spit it for you. I'm not there. You know what I mean? And I, like if you're coming you gotta have you gotta have something in your mind you gotta have some something like if we're gonna write sit down and write a song like sit and write a whole ass song and then record it like put in the effort to actually write it don't don't be like i don't know man i don't know well if i write a hook if i come up with a hook come up with a verse that goes with the hook like it's just that simple it's not it's not too hard. You can be creative as fuck when it comes to music. Like that being the case, how about I help give you a release date? A release date for what? I'll for a feature that we have to get done. Oh yeah, I gotta fucking do all that. I forgot about that. And this is what I'll do. I will pull up band lab. I'm going to record my part. Right? All right. I'm going to record my part in Fruity Loops. All right. Okay. All right. And then I'll just keep my stems and all that stuff in my computer. All right. All right. Now, do you know how to export stems and all that from BandLab? From BandLab? Yeah. Like just, just, uh, okay. just the fucking I vocals, right? Yeah, yeah, I ha yeah. Without the beat, without the beat, yeah, because I'll already yeah, you delete the beat. <laughs> well, I'll have you're gonna you're gonna I'm gonna put my part so you'll be able to hear it and have the reference there to record to. All right, and yeah, no, where I have where I I'll I'll send it so that the the stems should be lined up exactly where they gotta be. Okay. But like instead of like having it like, like right at the beginning and then having to chop it and throw it everywhere and fucking fuck all that audio up and whatever, it'll just be like blank 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 blank, blank bam verse blank 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 whatever. You know what right. I mean? Right. All right. Well then, yeah. yeah we... I got all of my vagueness. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna record. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the hook. All right. I'll go there and do the hook, and then I want you to do a third layer of the hook, essentially, with your vocal. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yo. So I I just remembered something. <laughs> My English teachers. Biggest, all of them, every single English teacher I've ever had, their biggest uh, feedback to me was always, don't say this or that. Be more descriptive. <laughs> like, <laughs> say what the object is. Say what the person is. Say what they're wearing. Like, don't say they were wearing this. Like, what? what is this? Yeah. What is this and what is that? <laughs> 
I, I was always so vague with my with my description. I'd be like, oh yeah, there was this guy and he was wearing this thing, you know, and then he was walking to this place. Okay. So my storytelling's gotten a lot better though, I can say. <laughs> I try to not say this and that as much. Try not to do it with the next one. How long do you see yourself doing music for, and what can we expect in the future? Uh, um, realistically, I don't know. I can't, can't say that. I. I know I want to do one big major show, not just like something like The Gathering of the Juggalos or whatever. That's not like, yes, that's a big show for, for me right now, but I want, I want a sold out solo show. You know what I mean? That just is epic and fucking crazy and I can do whatever the fuck I want on stage and I can have all the explosives and fucking just crazy shit that's going on for theatrics and i wouldn't even charge that much i wouldn't even charge that much i really wouldn't i want i'd want it sold out to the point where people are watching on the big screens outside the fucking stadium just you know what i mean just chilling i'll bring you two ounces of some rhino kush two ounces of some rhino kush Yep, that'll be that'll be my entry fee. Oh no, hell no! You, if anything, you'd probably be f performing like. <laughs> <laughs> if I do something that big, the way I see it is like anybody that I know that I've ever worked with is going to be performing at least one, one song. I want. Well, let's let's just. I want to be like a, disabled at that point. Let's just hope I'm still. I still can walk at that point. I, Okay. If, okay. I, if I can't, if I can't, I'm gonna come out there in a dope ass wheelchair with some spinners on it. Well, that or we'll just get you a robot robotic body to put you in. Hey, I'm with that. I, I'd be there. Oh, yeah. I, I'll be Iron Man. Oh, Let's go. Fuck yeah. Fuck it. No, you be you be like fuck RoboCop. You be Robo Thug. I be Terminator. I be the Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> the Terminator. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> All right. So, if you had three wishes, what would they be? Um, I forgot what I said last interview. Um, that's a good question because, um, mm, mm, shit, did I even answer that last interview I did? I don't think so. I don't think that was a question. I don't think that was a question. This is I, our, I don't know. Our, our next to last question. I only have one more question after this one. Three questions. Uh, three, three, three wishes. wishes. Uh, if you had three wishes, you know, would you pray for world peace? You never have to worry about weed again. You know what? I, I, I would, I want my own I island away from the world i want i want my own island on earth away from all the bullshit and safe from all the bullshit and toxic bullshit and toxic waste and poison in the air and all that shit and the wars and all that shit fuck fuck, fuck. if everyone else wants to fight that's on them i'm done <laughs> i'm done with it i'm getting too old for that shit okay, okay so a world peace type situation okay i want uh, at least no i want to say i want to say world peace no, just, when just i say an island that i can escape to that if if need be i can also turn into like a floating spaceship when i say peace i mean when i say world peace i mean your world yeah 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 exactly i turned that island into my world <laughs> you know, your world you know the things that happen in, in around uh, you affect you and yours that's what i mean by world peace uh, i ain't talking about the vision of world peace uh uh i would wish for a happy and long uh, long lasting relationship and 
and any of my friends, family, you know, just anyone suffering, dying like that, um, uh, I would wish them immortality, honestly, <laughs> uh, and youth, instead of, like, dying and suffering, because, like, fuck that, I'd rather be I'd rather be immortal with my friends and family and shit, and then dying and being like, ah, fuck, this, this sucks. Like, like, fuck that. Okay, so now I have nobody suffering. Well, I guess not, not nobody. I just, uh, you know, maybe people suffering, just people, just not your people, yo people. Yo, people. There, yeah, all right. Uh, yo, people, people. Yo, yo, people not suffering. Um, I, th I so. think, I think the people that would be suffering would be people like bigots, uh, chomos, uh, uh, sex offenders. You know, just shit like that. People that actually deserve the shit. You know, uh, uh, as far as like criminals breaking fucking laws that certain laws need to be broken sometimes and i don't know yeah like stop locking people up for weed <laughs> exactly oh my god there's states out there yo did you hear that they just banned tiktok in montana yeah i saw that stupid shit yo yo, yo i I got an interview with Killer C too, so I got to do it here on uh, Facebook. So yeah, I'm gonna get ready to start moving all my followers to like Instagram or something somewhere where we will be welcome. I don't even know where to do it anymore, honestly. At this point, I'm gonna have to figure it out. I'm probably just gonna have to start a website, my own website for in the interviews and shit. I mean. That would probably be the smartest thing. Yeah. Start putting shit on there. Podcast, the YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, fuck Twitter. <laughs> I can dig all that. I can dig all like, that. Like, what the fuck good is Twitter? You can't even actually post a video. You post a link to a video. Like, eh. yeah, it's retarded. I don't like Twitter. No, it's Twitter's stupid. You put you put fucking words up on it. I don't want to put my fucking words up on anywhere. That's what videos and fucking. I don't see. I don't understand. Oh, text me, text me, text me, text me, text me. No, fuck. This is the age in technology that we've been waiting for since we were fucking kids. We've been waiting to fucking talk face to face with people, like on fucking like computers and shit. And now we got that technology, and we don't even fucking take advantage of it the way we we thought we would like with payphones and shit because the market was saturated with it absolutely absolutely and then and then, and then, less and then kids aren't interested in it it became less of a privilege and more of a you know it's just a thing that we take for granted yeah exactly 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 so for this that, last question, it's, it's just like everything else. Everything just becomes normalized and a trend and this and that. And it's fuck that. All right. So you ready for this last question? Yeah. All right. You might want to hit the bone for this one. All right. Last question is a doozy. Okay. Uh, I got some water in there. If you could go back to that one point in your life, uh huh, your younger self, that one point, I don't really have to describe it. You know what it is. Everybody has that one point. If you could go back to that one point in your life where you know that things went fucked up. And you could talk to that version of you and give him any type of advice that would make him help you, your life to become different than what it currently is, you know? All right. 
know that that person would have been more successful. That person would have had his head on his shoulders. That person wouldn't have did a whole lot of shit. All right. So All you right. could go back and you could talk to that person before he became the fuck up that we all were. I'm I probably going to stay with my dad. Uh, what would you I tell, I, tell, I tell him, go stay with your dad. Don't stay with your mom. You're not, you're not going to have a life of, like, of success. You're going to have a whole life of failures. Maybe you lead up to success with those failures, but you're definitely going to learn the hard fucking way if you, if you choose to stay with your mom. And I hate to say that. It's a cold, hard truth. Uh, I love my mom. I love my dad. But I also cho I chose to stay with my mom because uh, I felt like she would kill herself if we weren't there for her. Because uh, 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 during the, the divorce and shit, she just wasn't, she wasn't herself. You know what I mean? She was she was off the hinges. Uh, we'd come, come home, she'd be drunk and shit. Uh, she had people stalking her. It's was, it was just crazy. Like, uh, yeah, I, t I tell I tell my younger self like, go don't don't stay with your mom. Go stay go stay with your dad because you uh. You, you you'd learn hard work and success through hard what direction hard work. direction would you tell him to take his life in? Uh, stick to stick, stick to baseball. Stick to baseball. That was my first passion. I, was, I still love baseball, but I don't watch it. Uh, uh, I used to fucking. When I was 12 years old, I could pitch like 89 miles an hour, or maybe 11 years old, something like that. And it, it was kind of retarded, honestly. Um, I tell him, go play, stick to baseball, get a scholarship, go to college, get a good degree and whatever. Probably something that you could get a doctrine in psychology or some shit probably <laughs> that's some good advice that's some good advice well go ahead and pull yourself out of the out of the darkness brother i saw you go in there that was it that was that was there you 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 was thinking there for a minute yeah no i i had to i had to think for a minute uh yeah no but yeah i would definitely Try to do something different, that's for sure. <laughs> well, that's all it's all about, my brother. That is all it's all about. And with that, we are through. Oh, yeah. With that, we are through, my brother. Always remember, everybody, two puffs a day will keep yeah. health issues away. <laughs> Oh man, we gotta smoke more. That's what I. That's what I mean. But I want to smoke right now. Hey, you, smoke hey, you got some good, good gas that only take two puffs a day. Man, this is this is some good shit though. Man, I don't know. I, I, I yeah, I've been fried all day to the point where it's. Fuck, dude, it's fucking. Retarded. I can't think. <laughs> you be I, right, bro. You be I. Right. Uh, when I took the morning dab, I was sweating. Then I took the second one, twice as big, and I'm like, "All right, I'm going. I'm probably going to take a nap later today." No, I still haven't. I haven't taken a nap, but I've been doing a lot. We got back. Uh, I had some curry goat. That was some good, good shit. I've never had a curry goat before. I've never eaten curry anything before. <laughs>
It's not bad. It's not bad. Um, uh, they had a, lot, they had a lot of rosemary in it, though. I'll take you your could taste word it. for it. <laughs> I, you you want to try some goat? I'm good. It's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. I, I'm good. I, I don't I don't want I don't want none of them none of them problems. <laughs> oh, is it is it bad? Some something like if you eat a goat, you're eating like a demon soul or something like that. I have some no, crazy. I have no. I, don't know. I won't. None of those problems, like not one of them. I've heard problems. I've heard so many weird myths, though. Like, you eat a cow, you're gone. Like it's like that's in the Hindu religion. I don't you worship cows. Basically, those problems, my guy, because I eat lamb. Like I love gyros, and that's lamb meat, and I don't want those problems. So I don't even want to think about that because mm -hmm. I am not stop eating gyros for nothing. They say eat the lamb of God. Well, I'll be fucking some lamb up. It is delicious. I've had, I've had lamb before, but I've never had a gyro. Um, uh, it, it was, it was I, I honestly think it was poorly prepared because uh, they just boiled it and then threw salt on it. And I'm like, I don't know. That's not, that's not how I would prepare any kind of meat. I would never boil. I, I, one day try you a guy roll one day the, the the meat is delicious it is fucking delightful i've i've seen i've actually had to go to a place in arizona when i was out there for three months i was doing deliveries and shit for uber eats i stopped in there and i was thinking about getting a sandwich but i didn't have time i had to get the delivery there in like two minutes Shit was across town, and <laughs> there was no way I was making it in two minutes. But I made it in two minutes. And, I can dig. Uh, you've been out to Arizona? No, not yet. All right, so I'm going to tell you right now that the traffic out there is fucking crazy. Do not go on the first left turn. Go on the. Uh, yeah, go on the second left turn. It's safer. You will avoid getting uh, hit by oncoming traffic. Uh, <laughs> I almost got hit like 10 times. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, I know. Wait for the wait for the second left. Don't don't go on the first. I I I only plan on going there for one reason, and when I go, I'll be, well, it'll be two reasons, but when I go, I'll be going to both places at one time. I'll be going to uh, Todd McFarlane Enterprises, which is where the creator of Spawn makes Spawn at. All right. So I went there. Where's that? And then uh, I, I believe that's in Phoenix. All and right. I have a cousin who, who lives out there in Arizona. I forget which little town he lives in, but it only takes him like 10 minutes to go to california all right i was i was in tucson and man i love tucson but um fuck it yeah no california from there was like six hour six hour drive that yeah he's like right there at the border and the thing is too is we had to go uh go to california to get weed i got stopped by border patrol once for bringing weed through because i forgot to go around border patrol like a fucking dumbass <laughs> well you would think going through i'd be like oh yeah we went through border patrol don't go back this way no i didn't think i was too high it's a California bud. It, it had me too fucking dazed and confused. I was all over the place. Yeah, that weed out there in Cali pretty good. I was out there back in uh 2006. Yeah. It was then, it was fire back then. I'm sure that any time more recent than 06 is a whole lot better. Yeah. And then I got some medical from my buddy Tommy, who's 
in prison right now. I don't know what the fuck he's in prison for, though. I was like, what the fuck? Like, I, I asked my buddy, I'm like, what, what the fuck happened? He's like, I don't know, man. Like, we're finding out details more and more as it happens, like, as the uh, case unfolds. I'm like, case? What fucking case? Like, what are you talking about? That's why. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's uh, you and I. All right. So, you know that hit, hitchhiker, Kyle the, Kyle, the hitchhiker or whatever, or whatever that kid was that went viral and then they made a documentary about? Yeah. All right, so he's even more peaceful than that dude, all right? Like, he's a trippy hippie, fucking down to earth. You and expect shit like that, but God only knows what the fuck happened because, I mean. He got caught up, got caught up in some shit that he ain't had no business being in. I mean, I mean, he could have he had a, a bad trip. He could have had a bad trip that, I don't know. I don't know. He got caught All up in I know is that I hope I hope he's innocent and I hope he gets out soon because freedom I know that the justice system is very unjust. Freedom. Uh, I mean, he probably need he probably needs uh uh psychiatric help and and, and 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 drug intervention more than fucking incarceration, but you know yeah. common common sense ain't common. In, in, in the land of the free. No. No. I know right now uh, Bloody Ruckus is in, in incarcerated on some stupid shit about a birthday cake. Wow. Like, 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 seriously, somebody called his PR about a birthday cake. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, it wasn't even like, it, I don't know. I guess, I guess it was it was like what it said or something, just joking around. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know the full details, but I all I know is it was over some stupid bullshit at this point, and he's looking at a year over it. Oh, they just can't let the real ones be free, dude. It's it's just like. What the fuck? He just, he didn't even do anything at this point. Like he's just trying to fucking celebrate his birthday and live life. Like fuck. Just let him be. You make a name for yourself, you make a name for yourself. You gotta look at it from all angles. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. That's why I try not to uh Drink. <laughs> I don't smoke weed. I'll get pulled over. I'll lose my license for ten years, and then I lose everything. Yeah, it's not good to lose everything. No, 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 no. I am all set. I am all set with that. I don't want that. Fucking thirty-two years old. I'm too old. I'm too old to fucking keep rebuilding. Building and rebuilding and rebuilding and rebuilding. We all too old, my brother. But, hey, check it out. I have to go upstairs and go feed my family now. All right. Yeah, I got to blaze this ball and, and get out of the bathroom. The video, because we just talking like this and the part right here. Go ahead, edit this part out of the video. You ain't got to add this part in the video. Ain't nothing cool here. Yeah, we just chilling. I mean, not this part. Part, but like where I say where I'm saying this, you'll remember where I'm saying all of this stuff. I know, <laughs> I know what you say. Uh, all right, I'll catch all you right. later, man. All right, bro, I appreciate you. Make sure all right. you have a copy of it when it's through. All right, all right, bro. Peace. Peace.